Oh. All right, settle down. Now, now I brought y'all down here to watch the news about Young Mayor Pearly on the big television set. So please, all you future leaders, not only Georgia, but these United States, quiet down. Quiet down. So people, please settle down and pay attention to your fellow student and mayor. In other news, a political shakeup has rocked one local community to its very foundation. Here with his report is our own Steve Halliman. Thanks, Sue. I'm here in Cochipi, Georgia, a small town located 40 minutes outside Atlanta. This tiny, adorable burg can now claim a great distinction. It has just elected one of the youngest mayors in American history. His name is Pearlie Judson, and he has a plan for Cochipi. I want the name, Cochipi to be synonymous with social progress and fiscal responsibility. Pearlie is the only son of investment banker Malcolm Judson, who is currently serving time for his role in a massive Ponzi scheme. Malcolm just released a self-published autobiography, Just Give Me a Second and I'll Explain Where Your Money Is, while his son fled the scandal, winding up in Cochipi, where he will live with his grandparents while he finishes high school. Oh yeah, when I heard that Pearly Judson was coming to this school, I knew he'd be all mine. I don't rightly care if he's mayor or dog catcher. That boy is hot. Get out of here, girl. I already kissed him. I want to thank my grandfather for his uh, gracious support. I look to him for advice as I take on this awesome, uh, awesome responsibility. My grandson is mayor, and I will provide him with whatever support he... I mean, it's almost like the good Lord is telling me, Rep, it just ain't gonna happen for you. I need some help. Some people have accused Pearly of being opportunistic, of capitalizing on the family name. But how can an 18-year-old high school student bring this town back from the brink? He has assembled a cabinet of locals to assist him, including young Chuck Cochipi, who was narrowly defeated by Pearlie in the recent election. I know the politics in this town. My grandpa Charlie, he was mayor since like the 1900s, and Pearlie asked me to come on board, and I'm glad to do it, but for one reason, and one reason only, so I can give him the worst advice I can think of and put an end to his reign of terror. So you just uh, let me know when you want to start the interview. Oh, we're, we're already rolling. What's that now? If Pearly Judson's first day in office is any indication, this precocious politician's plan is to go directly to the people. Uh, as we all know, Kajpi was recently voted the number one most obese city in the country. We're it, number one! We're number one! We're number one! We're number one. Please, please, this is a serious problem. And I think I've realized the cause. It's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. French fries, pizzas, that's not even wheat bread. That's, 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 come on, that's white. Come on, hard candy, peppermints, ginger, who picked these? So, Mr. Mayor, did you bite off more than you can chew? Everyone, please, please. Listen, I, I, I know the majority of you do not want to spend more money on a new football field. Can't, can't okay. I, I know, but you have to understand. The high school is currently leasing land from an abandoned military munitions dump. It's just really, really unsafe, you know? Kachipi can be a great American city. Kachipi uh, wants to be a great American city. You know, we just, uh, we needed to have the right guy in charge. Um, uh, you know my uh, chief of staff, uh, Gary Swerdlow. More? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sir. They said they won't leave until you hear them out. Come on in. See, this is what I'm talking about. Here we have two long-time 
Kachapi residents coming together in the spirit of community. Now, ladies, how can I help you? I need more land for my fabric store. And I want to demolish her fabric store. You heard the mail. From Kachapi County, Georgia, I'm Steve Hallam. <laughs> All right, wasn't that just great, students? All right, listen up. Mayor Purley is about to arrive for his orientation here today. So please, treat him with respect and don't make a big fuss. Because remember, he's a student just like y'all. A teenager with big dreams. Y'all understand? Dismissed. Purley! I'm coming for you, sweetie.